Hey guys, so it's uh, March 14th today and uh, gotta go check this app again. Um, Amanda forgot to take Jack's car seat out and luckily that's one thing I love about this van is it's got a built-in car seat in the back seat there. Granted, it's not great by any means. If I was to get any kind of side impact, my little boy would probably die. So I'm driving extremely cautious right now, watching all my mirrors and everything. I'm driving even slow, I'm only going 55, which is unheard of for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it'll hold off. It'll hold off. You know, it, it's, it'll do its job for now until Amanda gets home from work. But God, that just that sucked. I was like. Well, I'll go inside, no car seat. Oh, and we got two car seats, but the one that the other one, he's too big for. Him. So um, this one will have to do, I guess. But um, yeah, I gotta get out there. I gotta uh, so dump sap in the tank there, and uh, I have not, I have no idea what to expect. My dad, uh, well. Two days ago, I went out there and I had 52 gallons, which it really isn't that much at all. And um, I asked my dad to check a couple of buckets yesterday. He said they were all empty. I was like, okay. So it didn't freeze last night, so I'm not expecting really anything. Um, but I do have like two trees that fill the buckets up, whether or not it freezes. So. I gotta empty those out. And, um, you know, it's supposed to cool off this weekend. Hopefully, the buds hold off. I don't know. If the buds hit the trees, if it really starts budding, it's too late. And I was looking at the trees in my yard, and um, they're budding pretty bad. They're pretty good, I should say. So, you know, once they start, once they start budding, though, sap goes bitter and it's worthless so I'm just gonna have to taste this thing see if it's still got a sweet taste to it and um, go from there I guess I don't know well things are not looking good uh, looking at the trees not seeing any buds I mean they're there but they're not like at my place where they're just budding out like crazy this tree over here is going kind of nuts but um i checked i don't know it's just a combination of buds uh i checked all my well all the buckets that produce a lot quickly and they ain't got nothing in them been two days since my last uh, since I last dumped everything into the tank and I bet you I don't have a gallon with all of them combined right now which is kind of expected with the way the uh, temperature has been so yep I guess um, now I think I'm going to shoot some birds. Hey guys, so it's 16th of March. And uh, it's a freaking... Uh, a storm. A massive storm has hit Wisconsin. And uh, we've had wind and snow and rain. and I mean, we're in a flood warning right now. Um, it's only... What is today? Wednesday, I think, and we're expecting three inches of rain by the weekend, and I was just sitting down, I was just looking at my phone, and um, all of a sudden I heard this crack, 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 and there are freaking, there's a tree, a giant ass tree I heard fall down and hit, I don't know where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere, it was relatively close by, but man, that made a hell of a sound. Holy jeez. I don't know what it, what or where it is, but... Yeah, sorry about not 
keeping up, but hasn't been much to film lately. And uh, yeah, so this is just happening right now. One good thing about this colder weather is the sap should start flowing. And I should finally start making some money, hopefully. But man, that was a hell of a thing. I'm gonna have to go out there and check it out. If I, provided I don't get blown away. Hmm. Look at this, guys. This is the Old Plain River. Holy jeez. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, it is seriously flooded. All right guys, so I'm on my mom and dad's road right now looking west, or looking east. And right over here, that's Highway P, that's Fenwood Creek. That's what floats through my woods. Look at this. Oh yeah, <laughs> guaranteed. My woods is underwater right now. Guaranteed. Check out these roads, guys. Holy jeez. Well, it's not so bad here, but I'm gonna turn left up here and you'll see what I'm talking about. This is what I have to look forward to every springtime when I go out to my mom and dad's. Right now we're gonna go over to Ty's and uh, Hang out there. I like to go over there, well, not as much as possible, but, you know, often enough so the boys remember each other and um, so they kind of get socialized. Well, at least so Jack gets socialized with other babies because he's only got his sister right now and she's a lot older than he is. So, just going to hang out. And Ty usually just play video games and bullshit and everything. But yeah, it gets kind of hairy up here somewhere. I don't remember where exactly. Yeah, right up here. And this is, isn't just bumps. This is actually frost coming out of the ground. And uh, it can roll your car if you're going fast enough and you hit one of these I mean they're not like little puddles they're actually really soft ground that your tires sink into and it's very very dangerous I remember one time I was riding my bicycle and we used to ride our bikes through them um, as challenging as it is it was fun too look at this I'm just getting pulled all over the place but this one time I was riding my bike, I was probably doing about 15 miles an hour just flying down the road on my bicycle. And um, I hit one of these mud holes. And wouldn't you know what? It stopped me dead in my tracks and I flew over the handlebars. And that was a fun day. Well, I'm over at John's. Actually, I'm leaving John's right now. I was working on my knife. Or knives. I got this one knife that I want to kind of rebuild the handles off of it and everything but it's a really good quality steel and uh, I was gonna get the handle on it but that steel is so hard that I couldn't even drill through it I mean I tried I, I probably dulled about four bits and I could not drill through it so oh well I'll have to I got carbide too drill bits at home and I was gonna bring them with and I forgot and just stupid I got distracted as usual but uh it's seven o'clock holy crap seven o'clock already <laughs> I, I gotta get back I didn't realize it was that late it stays darker longer or lighter longer now and lose track of time and whatever so yeah, tomorrow I'll actually come out, hopefully I'll get out here and uh, be able to record some of it. I was just focused on getting it started today and uh, didn't really feel like filming. So tomorrow I'll try again. I'll have the proper equipment.
equipment with me now that I know exactly what I need. Hopefully I can get out here before 4 o'clock because John's going to be gone and I can only use the shop really when he's, I mean I could use it when he's gone but I don't, it just doesn't feel right when he's not around so and I hate using stuff that isn't mine in case it breaks and everything so I just try to do it whenever he's there. He's always insistent that I'm, I'm fully, you know, that he's fully okay with me using this stuff when he's not around, but, you know, people say that, but you never, you really, I, I don't, I wouldn't be okay with that, and I'm a pretty generous guy, so, so I'm not going to take advantage of that, but, um, anyway, yeah, I got, I'm thinking that the sap is going to run like crazy tonight and tomorrow, and, uh, I'll head out there and check it out, and, uh, uh-oh, <laughs> gas is empty here check it out and go from there because I really want to get this fixed up and maybe even sell it I don't know yet find out well it's 17th of March and uh, just out checking sap and buckets and all that and after that big storm and the temperature falling I thought that we would have sap would be flowing but it's only 37 degrees today and it did drop a little freezing last night, but it's not warm enough to uh, get the trees running, unfortunately. And uh, I went around and checked a lot of buckets and whatnot, but a lot of them have um, yellow sap, which is bad sap, or fermented, or bud sap, any of that. And so I had to dump all of them, which probably would have only added up to about five gallons, if that, if I'm lucky even. So, maybe it'll warm up and maybe something will come out of this because it just feels like a big old waste of time right now. You know, it's not making, it's not worth the expense of gas and all that. Which I guess really isn't all that bad anyway. I don't know why I'm bitching because it's only at my parents and I come out here all the time anyway. So I guess really nothing to really complain about. Uh, I was just hoping we would make a little money this season. Sort of sucks, really. Oh well. Alright, so you guys remember yesterday I said that uh, a tree had fallen down while I was in the house and I, I heard it. It was a huge bane. Well, that's where it fell. Broke off the top of that. Landed right there. That's freaking nuts. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't think I've ever had a tree fall down so close to me. That's no bullshit, too. That was a big chunk of tree right there. It's been, you know, it looks like it was entirely dead. But wow, wish I would have seen that or even got it on video, it would have been even better. As he and Amanda are making a new little recipe. Shaleen spaghetti through a hot dog. <laughs> and then what, we boil it? Yep, cook it just like you would uh, the pasta. Right, so I'm thinking five is a good number. So You're gonna hurt it, don't do it! Right, oh! <laughs> 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 Let's get a plate. So it'll roll away on us. Okay. This is going to be interesting. It's dead. <laughs> halfway. Halfway? That actually looks pretty yummy. Mmm. Oh, I think the kids will like that. It's like an alien. I see when I put them in. Oh, it looks like an octopus. Oh, wait till it comes out. As he's gonna try the weird looking alien food. <laughs> Don't choke on it. How is it? Mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. You like the ketchup with the noodles? 
So you don't like it? Well then, don't you don't eat ketchup? Okay, the hot dogs I do. <laughs> she looks at me like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack's turn. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with this. Maybe this one would be better. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I think he's confused. Oh, there we go. He's pulling the noodles out. No, he's just breaking them off. Hey guys, well it's the 18th of March today, and um... <laughs> Yeah, I know. We had some bad news yesterday or last night. Uh, I was sitting at home playing on a computer, doing what I usually do, and Kenny, my good buddy, he uh, texted me and he's like, "Hey, what's your mom and dad's address?" And I told him, and I'm like, "Why?" And he's like, uh, "It was somebody found your dad face first, face down on the floor," and I'm like. Dude, that's not funny. Don't even talk like that. And he's like, no, I'm serious, you know. And all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, well, I'll call, you know. I'm not, I'm like, whatever. So I call. Mom's phone immediately goes to voicemail. So now I'm getting really concerned, right? And about 30 seconds go by, and I get a call from an unknown number. And I answer it, which I normally don't do. And they're like, is this Weston Janish? And I said, yes. And they're like, um, is your father, is your father Edward Janish? And I said, yes. And like, um, your father, your mother has called the ambulance and you need to, uh, go out there for her right now. And I'm like, she's like, you're, something has happened to your dad. And I'm like, oh my God. So I jump up, I get my pants on, throw my jacket on, jump in the Nissan and head out there as fast as I can actually get behind an ambulance and do about 85 and um, yeah so I get into the yard and I see them moving my dad out and he's you know like gray colored um, not moving my mom said that she had taken an Amish couple to wherever they need to be um, at 8.30 or at 9 o'clock. Dad said he was going to lay down at 8.30 because he didn't feel well. He was throwing up all day. She came home and she found him uh, laying on the floor. And so as I started walking in the door, I, uh, mom was crying frantically. And I started crying, and Mom's like, he's gone. I'm like, Mom, shut up. You know, you don't know that for sure. And yes, she does. She was a nurse for 25 years. And long story short, my dad died. Yeah, so I'll tell you more about it later. So yeah, I'm in my dad's garage, looking at everything that he's left behind. Remember how I was bitching about how dirty this place is and how just, I, I don't even know what the word I guess would be, cluttered. And now it's my problem. Oh my god. I can't believe he's gone. I mean, I know we didn't get along. I know that. You know, we had our differences and everything, but... 
I didn't want him gone. So much stuff that's overwhelming. The reason I look at it is to think of my dad. This is so hard. It's so hard. But on the other hand, I can sell everything now. Maybe I should just have an auction. It might be easier. So it's about 4.30 now. We've been out here since noon. Actually, 11. Uh, you know, family's coming and going. My sisters were here. My niece is on her way with her boyfriend, and uh, I think it's just starting to become too much, too soon. I keep looking at my dad's stuff, you know, knowing he's never going to come back for it. <laughs> he's not going to yell at me for selling it. This is hard. This is so hard to handle. I don't even know if I'm going to put this video up, to be perfectly honest. I just am so emotional right now. I've never been as sad as I am right now, I don't think. To know that I'm never going to see my dad again. That's that's unbearable. That's hard. I know as time goes on, things will get easier. But right now, things are not easy. Life is very unfair, and I'm just, me and my family are just trying to cope. Oh, we're all very worried about my mom's finances, and um, what she, what's going to happen. We don't know if she's going to have to sell the house or what, but... I don't know what to do. And I just, you know, I came out earlier and I was like, okay, I'll take some pictures of some stuff I can sell. I just can't do it. Not yet. You know, my dad hasn't even been gone 24 hours. I can't think like that. I can't just go off and start selling stuff. But he's worked his whole life to acquire. I think it was different when he was alive. You know, I... I I know, I took him for granted, as do most people. Now it's like, you know, when I sold that snowmobile, it was just another snowmobile that didn't run. But now, I look back on it, and I probably betrayed his trust, and just was an asshole, period. And I feel like shit about it, yeah. I know my dad would want my mom to be happy to have money in her pocket and to sell stuff so she could have this money. He's never gonna come back again to work on any of it. 
he never worked on it anyway. I just have to accept that reality and move through it. Sorry about that, I dropped on the mail. Oh man. All right, guys, I'm going to close out here and um, I will I will catch you guys in the next one.